Hi there, this is another equation practice video. And there's two equations in this one, there's six questions. So the first equation is energy transferred is equal to charge multiplied by voltage. So if you've not seen this question before, there's a video in my electricity playlist that you should watch. So just to recap, energy is measured in joules. Charge is measured in coulombs. Voltage is measured in volts. Then there's a second equation for the last few questions. You can get this down now if you want. And it's Q equals I times T. So charge is current times time. So charge obviously measured in coulombs, like we just said. Current is measured in amps, and time is measured in seconds. So once you've got that down, we can do these questions, and then we'll move on, do the next three questions. They do progressively get more difficult. All right, let's start. All right, let's start with this first one. Well, you should pause and have a go at the first two questions. Once you've done, press play. So our lamp is left on, and 29,000 joules of energy are transferred to it, whilst the potential difference across it is 231 volts. And we're going to calculate charge. So on this one, it's E equals charge times voltage. And we want charge. So we need to get rid of the V that's connected to the Q, which is times V. So the opposite of times in by V is dividing by V. So energy divided by voltage will give us the charge. Then it's just 29,000 divided by 231. You put that in your calculator, you'll get... 125.5 or 126 coulombs. Alright, number two. So a lamp is left on and 40,000 nanojoules of energy transferred to it, whilst 222 coulombs of charge flow through it. Calculate the potential difference. So potential difference is just another word for voltage. So E equals QV. So voltage will be, we need to get rid of a, a times Q, so we need to divide by Q on the other side. So energy divided by charge will give us the, the voltage. So that's 40,900 divided by 222 coulombs. And that gives us 184 volts. All right, let's do question three then. So if you want to pause and have a go at that one. I'll take you for the answer now. So this one, we've got a resistor has two kilocoulombs of charge flow through it. The potential difference across the resistor is 200 millivolts. Calculate the energy. So in this one, we've just got energy is charge times voltage. And as long as we get the conversions correct, it should be okay. So two kilocoulombs, kilo means thousand, so that's 2,000. And milli means, well, divide by a thousand. There's a thousand millimeters in a meter. And so milli means divide by a thousand. So two hundred divided by a thousand is zero point two. And then two thousand times zero point two gives us four hundred joules of energy. Four hundred joules. All right, let's move to the next questions. So let's pause and have a look at these ones, and then I'll take you through the answers. So in this one, we've got a current of zero point seven five four amps, and it's left on for two hundred twenty one seconds. Calculate the charge, so nice and straightforward. Charge is current times time. So charge is equal to the current, which is 0 0.754, multiplied by the time of 221 seconds. So that gives us a charge of 166.6 or 167 coulombs. All right, let's have a look at question five. Right, let's have a look. So a total charge of 35 kilocoulombs flows through a device in three minutes, and we're going to calculate the current. So Q equals I2. Charge is current times time. And we want current, so we need to get rid of the times time. So obviously to get it to the other side, the opposite of times in by time is dividing by time. That'll give us the current. And then it's just charge divided by time. So 35 kilocoulombs is 35,000 coulombs divided by time of three minutes. So obviously there's 60 seconds in a minute. So 60 times 3 gives us 180 seconds. Calculate that, we get 194 amps. All right, let's do a extension question now. 
All right, just as a recap before you start this one, that is 5 times 10 to the power of 12, the number, the hat thing, written, writing it, written it, writing it like this is, I write it on a computer if you haven't got Microsoft Equation, and I did this on Sheets or whatever it's called. Anyway, that's what it means. So if you want to have a go at that one, just pause, and then I'll take you through the question. All right, let's have a look. So a power station is left running and converts 5 times 10 to the power of 12 kilojoules of electrical energy onto the national grid. If the power rating of the power station is 200 megawatts, calculate how many days the plant was running for. We're going to assume 100% efficiency just for simplicity. All right, let's go then. So we've got energy, we've got power, and we need time. And as this is an extension question, you might be thinking, oh, those equations don't work, and they don't. But hopefully, if you've been watching the material, you'll know that it's simply energy is power times time. And we need time. So what we're going to do is energy divided by power. So energy divided by power is going to equal time. Then you've got to be really careful because it's times 10 to the power of 12 kilojoules. So you actually need to multiply that by 1,000. So that would give you the energy as 5 times 10 to the power of 15 joules divided by the power of 200 megawatts. So 200 mega, remember, means million. So you could put six zeros or you could put times 10 to the power of 6. That will give us the time. And the time is 25 million seconds or 25 times 10 to the power of 6 seconds. Now, because you're all doing GCSE maths, you might start thinking, you can't write standard form like that. You can, it's just in maths, it'd be 2.5 times 10 to the power of 7. Okay, but 25 uh, you know, million seconds, 25 times 10 to the 6. Or you could write 25 megaseconds. So once we've got that, what we need to do is figure out how many days that is. So what we need to know is how many seconds there are in a day. So you've got 60 seconds times 60 minutes multiplied by 24 hours. And that gives you 86,000. I don't know why I started writing 84. It's 86,400 seconds. And then we just need to do 25 times 10 to the 6 divided by how many seconds are in a day. So pop that in your calculator. That will give you 289 days. If you figure that out, well done. It's uh, it's pretty difficult. You know, if that was on a GCC question, probably towards the back of the paper. Anyway, I hope that were helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you soon.